You know, the more I was listening to Mr. Das, uh, the more I was thinking of the reasons for the Congress party. The Congress obviously is not convinced, you know, Sushmita, of all the reasons which have been given there by, by Mr. Das about the, the novelty, about the good intentions of this government. The Congress doesn't believe any of these words which are being made by the government. The Congress party is very clear that the day the GST was passed by both the houses in the Rajya Sabha, uh, we supported it. And that also came after several negotiations, as you know, it didn't come easily. It was thoroughly discussed. Uh, the government acceded to certain things, certain things they didn't. But uh, what we are saying is that the date of 1st of July is not sacrosanct. Mm. We could have prepared for it better. There are apprehensions uh, amongst the small businessmen mm. and traders. And there is also apprehension, we have heard, which have emanated from bodies like Asochan. The government says these are all apprehensions which are only on the Congress party's mind. Government says Mr. Piyush Goyal, whose interview we're going to play at 10, uh, at, at 10 p.m., is very, very clear. He says all this business of small traders, their interests being compromised, is all on Congress's mind. It's a figment of imagination. Government has worked out all loopholes. Well, Mr. Goyal is entitled to his views, and we are entitled to ours. But the fact is, it is not the Congress which is calling buns in the various states. It's happening. So there are trader, trading associations, traders' associations, who are saying that, yeah. and it has been proved. I have met somebody three days back or two days back who says still doesn't have the uh, the GSTIN number. Yeah. So there are glitches no, there. I, I, think, I think you're and right. And we could have waited till 1st of September. Well, whether we could have waited till the 1st of September or not is a separate question altogether. But Sushmita, if I may ask you a simple point, and not to dismiss the fact that there are challenges on the ground, I think the government also acknowledges those. But your members are part of the GST Council. Uh, representatives of Karnataka are part of the GST Council. The finance minister said every decision has been taken by consensus. Every decision has been unanimous. Why didn't they dissent within the GST Council? And it's the same question that one has to ask Dr. Amit Mitra as well. Why don't you dissent in the GST Council if you felt so strongly about July 1? Please understand that there were several issues in in which all finance ministers didn't agree, not even when it comes to the rates or the date. But there is a process by which you're overruled in the GST Council. And I think Mr. Mitra came, walked out of the last GST Council meeting, not this one tonight, and expressed his apprehensions and requested the finance minister of India to at least have it on a trial for two months. And I don't think that's an unreasonable demand. Everybody's agreed that GST is good for the nation, although what has been rolled out here is definitely not one nation and one tax, given mm. that there are five slabs. Mm. So this is not what we actually envisaged in 2011. But, but having said that, I think, I think the fact that the government has been so adamant and so hurried about this, mm. that, that we I don't understand what the intention is.